All right, so this is my very first fishing tournament. Exciting stuff, but it was filled with all types of trials and tribulations. I feel like it was the walls of Jericho surrounding us right now. So, uh, yeah, tune in and here starts the story. Good morning, YouTube. I'm out here. It is Saturday, October 8th. I literally, I'm on like five hours of sleep, maybe four. And uh, it's the day before the, the Rhode Island Toy Classic, man. I am tired, but I'm making a beeline drive over to Pell's to go pick up some white crab for us to fish with tomorrow. Good morning, YouTube. Okay, so here we are. Sunday, October 9th. Um, I'm in Rhode Island. I'm going to be fishing the Rhode Island Tall Classic. But let me tell you all the things that happened since the last time you guys seen me on camera. So, I did secure the white crab. And then I make the beeline drive out my bed Saturday morning. Two and a half hours round trip. Secure the crabs. Well, the original plan was for me to drive up here to the boat last night. Get the crabs in the water and go crepe mechanical problems on the boat that we were supposed to go out on. So backup plan is we are going, me and the team are going to be on um, the Bounty Hunter party boat. I think it's gonna be like 20 other guys besides my team. So um, see what we can do, you know. I'm always, always the one who tries to be the glass half full. At the end of the day, I get a chance to fish Rhode Island again. Um, another chance at talking now that I've gotten through a whole season of it. Um, new gear, learning some techniques, fishing with some really good fishermen. So, you know, you'll see a lot of fish finders guys. Anyway, it is 4.12 in the morning. I'm in an hour, my hotel's an hour. Yes, an hour from the boat. So I'm about to pack up the car, head on out. Get on down, get on down the road. And just try to be positive. Um, so this might be an opportunity for me to get that DD, whether or not we play third or better. So thanks for tuning in on the adventure and I'll see you when I'm on the water. Peace. So he's on a little further to the right of me. I think that might've been the only key caught on the right side all day. All right, borrowing John's uh, weapon mag, Junior. See how it works. Yeah. Yeah. Ray, you sure? about to get you. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I got it. I got it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I kept slipping. I, I've never, I've never slipped so much fishing before in my life. Like it was a little tough. Wind situation. I'm trying to get it out, but I don't make it. <laughs> it's a pretty good bend. Networthy? I mean, not that worthy, but I think it'll keep. Okay, come on. Yes, it is. All right. Apologies for the jacket. I know you saw it. I missed him. Uh, Dropped him. Not nettable, but it's keepable. Ah, uh, sea bass, mother of pearl. <laughs> <laughs> I, try, I try to keep things kind of clean on my YouTube. I'm, the, I am squatting, bro. Like, it's so, it's so uncomfortable. So the ball busting ensued. Uh, and I get it, G. I didn't look funny. I was, I was squatting to catch a sea bass, but they didn't know is I probably have like a hairline fracture on my left foot from when I went rock climbing. I saw second degree burns on my hip from when I went out on uh, go go kart racing. So uh, your girl is hurting and trying to stay balanced in those crazy waves. It was pretty tough. I'm not gonna lie. So I'm sitting here doing all types of 
calisthenics and you know squats and aerobic exercises to not fall over <laughs> yeah I got my foot. <laughs> Listen, man. <laughs> Would that do it? I know. Just, just to let you know. It's the batteries. I'm trying to save them darn batteries. Well, now, looping. Have, there's a looping. You gotta have. I, I have a battery bank. Get them started, baby. That's the one. That's right. Get in the water. This is my camera. Hopefully it's not Hollywood. <laughs> Ooh, Lord. What just happened? That's interesting. I don't even know. I wish I was close. He went down. You guys are going to hear a lot of edits. There we go. That's a good one. Solid almost six pound fish. Y'all gonna stop laughing at me? Still <laughs> fall. This is so uh, slippery. It's so huh? slippery. <laughs> Jeez. I'm like, I gotta get some like gorilla glue on the bottom of my. Well, at this point, I'm right sitting here just retying my setup. I had some pretty bad chafes and just in case. Right, 10 pounder. Didn't want to lose the fish to freight line. Get to see Casper's fish. Nice, Cas. That's not as big as yours, huh? Oh! You shut me up for that. Fish finder is ball busting at its best. I got him, but he's little. Another little fish. One day. I'm getting all I'm getting all the babies out the way. So the big one is finna hit soon. <laughs> still, still limber, still got it. It did say that wind was gonna pick up. Yeah, soon. it did. I mean, I feel like it was ripping at ten, but yeah, it's I'm definitely it's definitely bad it now. No, I won't back down. <laughs> it's one of these days. It's small, it's small. Uh, don't even get excited. I'm just happy I haven't fished in a little while. <laughs> little drought, if you will. Not my 18 incher, but oh, oh look what it is. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> I saw that silver and I was like, no. <laughs> <sighs> a porgy. I don't know what kind of accent Thank that was, you. but I was trying. <laughs> Really? Hot stuff. That would make me sad. I'm that crazy person that will eat habanero it's seeds. It's way after. Really? Wow. It's so nice. It's not like being nice. It's Come on and turn on. Mine is not 
my rod will bend over in half yeah. at about three pounds. Yep. So. <laughs> Sorry. Wind just took that. The wind took it. <laughs> Thank oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> Flying fish. Yeah. Now this small fish. I love when you set the hook from my feet. From sideways? I know, right? <laughs> It's quite, it's quite a skill. <laughs> Guitar, I do it quite often, man. I don't, I can't swim, so I'm like, if I go over, it's it, it's a wrap. Chris is down. <laughs> I appreciate that time. Because I mean it, I really can't swim very well. <laughs> Our buzzer beater style of fish from Casper. Very nice. Casper, I'm going to leave it off the. I don't want to like stab him. Yeah. Way in time. Hey. Hey. Good to see you. Good. How's it going? How's it going? Good. Ooh. I got a new jackfish. Wait, what is this right here? That's metal. That's metal. You can't thing. use that. It's a cattle crawl. I can use whatever you want. I'm turning it directly. That's what I'm going to use it for. Shut up. That's why I told you to pass that powers. It might. It might. It might. All right, so we're about to do our Team Calcutta weigh-in, but a 15 and a 20 just got weighed, so. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we got right The last game. The smaller fish. 7.15. That's the rest of the I am. Yes, I am. Hi. I love you. Oh, thank you. I just found you like, you know, just not that long ago. And I was oh, like, awesome. Hey, it's your personality. Oh, uh, I appreciate like, that. Well, my name is Kristen. What's Kristen your name? Kristen America. Nice to meet you, Eric. You know what I was thinking? It's crazy. I was like, I wish you'd come up here and talk. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I saw you've been. I've been, I've been like, I've been like, low, like slowly migrating north, so I'll be back up here on the 21st. All right, here's the next part. Getting my food. It's gonna be a lobster roll and a scallop roll for me. Yummy, yummy. Okay, I didn't get the scallop roll, just a lobster roll. DJ Soap's fan. starting to drive home my four and a half five hour drive home back to philly lord have mercy these road trips <sighs> especially after you fish a rough day on the waters um man i was catching shorts i could not bring the big fish in i just wasn't consistently getting bites on the white so i stuck with the greens and the greens when it got me shorts um shorts and a pretty good size sea bass the best fish we had was like a 7.2 so, you know, considering all the obstacles that we had set against us, getting on a party boat, fishing the ocean when everybody else stayed in the bay, I mean, some amazing size fish came up. A 20 pounder, a 15 pounder, 11s, uh, a lot of double digits, and they stayed in um, inland and fished the bay and caught the fish and probably didn't get beat up this bad, but it was still pretty rough. But half the boat wasn't even catching shorts. Um, starboard side, which I, I tend to uh, fancy a little bit, unfortunately was not popping this time. It was a port side bite. It looked like all the fish were biting on port side. So anyway, this was an awesome experience. Got to meet some cool people. Uh, shout out to Eric, who uh, I met and he recognized me from the channel. So it was cool just to be around some, some guys that can really fish. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm still green. I'm still new. I know I'm learning a whole heck of a lot. One thing I'm learning, how to tie a rope and, you know, put crabs in the water. Like, <laughs> trying to keep those whites healthy. So many different things. 
this has been a journey so as always guys thanks for watching for real all the support it means a lot the comments the encouragement because <laughs> your girl gotta work tomorrow morning you feel me so um just gonna keep plugging away hopefully i can get this drive done straight through power through as much as i can and um yeah the next trip you'll probably see lord willing at least is going to be the trip back up here um back on double down charters on the 21st of october so of, of a couple of weeks and then i'll be back for another fish finders trip so anyway um hopefully i can bring y'all some satisfying big tall keepers uh from rhode island water so until next time peace